Yo, boys, we are crushing it, but let's spread the word and get everyone to keep repping Happy Dad. We made Happy Dad easy to drink, low carbonation, don't miss out, and stop drinking that other shit. You can go to happydad.com slash find us to find a local store or bar that carries Happy Dad near you. And boys, make sure you tag us on Instagram, at Happy Dad, on your IG stories, because we're reposting a ton of you guys. And don't forget, you got to be 21 plus to buy and drink Happy Dad. the Faina Hotel. Apparently this is the bougiest hotel in fucking uh, Miami. I think Drake's staying here too. It's been his birthday all week, so we saw Drake and Yachty out the other night. That's kind of how we got this pod done. Yachty, legend. Nice. Yeah, that's it. We just fucking go for it right away. Yeah. No, yeah, no intro. <laughs> oh, you, you wanted to start it off, Sonny. <laughs> Steiny had some questions. No, Steiny Steiny did. Steiny was fired up. Okay. Let's go. All right, uh, this, he's going to do that a couple times. Get used to that. <laughs> I'll put the mic in my he's face. He's going to get in the camera. He's got to get the screen time. time. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah. All right, all right. Live from the Faina. Yeah, 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 yeah. South Beach. Yachty in the house. Yachty's yeah. here. Let's go. Let's do it. It's a fire one. Let's do what? it. Let's make it happen. What, how'd this happen you? at Drake's party? What about his party? At Drake's party, this is how this came together. Not really. I, no, I, no, I hit, I hit you like a week or two yeah, ago yeah, and we're trying to figure that. it out. Oh, like okay. We but then we have, had to go to, would yeah. have, maybe have, would have done in Atlanta. I know. Yeah. Oh, I but we had to go to that. Abu Dhabi last yeah. minute. Word. UFC fights and shit. Fuck. That was like, what, 12 hours? 15 16. hour flight. Yeah, yeah I, 15, 16 hours. I've been in Dubai once. It's fucking lit. crazy. I guess. So how long you out here for? I don't know. Did you come here for the party? or No, we're working. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're working, man. You're working on music? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's as long as I've been spent. Those are some nice kicks. Are those Georgetowns? Yeah. Yes, sir. Fuck. Yes, sir. He has money. <laughs> okay. Those Let's go. Nice. Really? How much are those shoes? They're not, I mean, they're not crazy. It's just hard to find in the sizes. Oh shit. Yeah. Those are nice. Yeah. You in the fashion. I'm you seem I'm in everything. Like that's heavily. Worth something. You're yeah. in the what? Everything worth something. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. What are you most passionate about? Uh clothes and music for sure. Have you always been that way? Uh, depends. What's always like since you were into, I guess, I guess, essentially making money or building business, like the things that you were kind of like encompassed in what you enjoyed doing and what you enjoyed making. Yeah, money I mean, about. I'm 25, right? So I think I started doing music at 17 years old. Um, and since high school, I think I, my mom was always very business savvy, you know, and then always very into clothes. And my father was he's a creative, you know, he's a photographer, so. Um, I don't know. I just, it's kind of just been my thing music and clothes. Who, yeah. Who was the first fashion icon you looked up to? My parents. Both of them. Really? Yeah. My mom and, and, and dad were always super stylish, but on different accords, right? Like my mom was very business fashion. I'm like addicted to like fake vapes, Vicks. You think you get Yo, enough? I need that. I'm what? addicted to it. Oh, what is it? Pass that, pass that. It's a, it's a nose. Nose. <laughs> yeah, I just stick it. Yeah, no. You don't share you, those? You stick it in your nose? Yeah. You don't no, you, share those? Yeah. Hold on, you don't, hold on. Like, like, he puts it in his ass, too. Bro, what yeah. the no, fuck you, are you, you saying? saying? You Why do you start? <laughs> you, you really want to start this right now? That's crazy. He's I'm, on some bro. weird shit, just so you know. I don't know. You really want to start this right now? Let me know. Let me know. Chill, bro, chill. Okay, so not starting it. No. Okay, so shut the fuck up then. Sorry about that. Normally, you just hover it around the nose, no? No, no, no. That's why it's got the tube. You stick it in so you can walk. Okay. Yeah. Damn, so we can't share that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Fuck it. That's fine. Yeah, no, no. Oh, I mean, they have the kind that you can do the exactly, yeah. bing bot, but this is... Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't share those. Yeah. So when, when did you decide music was for you? Straight up, let's start there. I want to hear about the parents' strip, though. Oh, yeah, yeah go for no, it. And yeah. Also, also, I want to hear, do you think your your style's a little underrated? I don't think you get the respect yeah, you mean, deserve. Yeah, it is oh, what okay. it is. I, I, obviously, you know, I don't know, bro. It's life. Yeah, I definitely do my thing though. I see. Yeah, we're going through, and we have some fits we want to talk to you about yeah, later. Yeah, I do this shit for real. <laughs> That's the answer to your question. I definitely do this more than most. How, when did you decide music was for you? Like, how are you um, like music versus fashion? Right, because you were into both those things. You, yeah, but I never wanted to be a designer. Okay, I know I just loved clothes. Right. So um, how music then? Well, my dad's a photographer, right? So all my life since I was a child, my dad just played music loud. Like loud as shit. Like all my life, I just grew up around music. My dad shot a lot of artists. You what know? kinds so, of music? Uh, jazz, rock, 
Um, soul music. You know, my dad played a lot of uh, John Lennon, a lot of Paul McCartney, a lot of fucking a lot of range. Uh, oh whole, fuck yeah, a lot yeah. of Earth, Wind, and Fire, a lot of fucking Rolling Stones. Not Rolling Stones, no, not Rolling Stones. A lot of Coldplay, a lot of Kane, a lot of uh. <laughs> Yeah, my dad played all kinds of shit. Yeah, so as I grew up, I was very eclectic. My fucking boxes are too tight, so my fucking <laughs> you good? Jimmy Jazz is tight, <laughs> but yeah, but uh, all kinds of shit, bro. I just grew up in all kinds of music, and he shot a lot of rappers. You know, he always took me, so like I just grew up seeing Outkast and like Kanye, and like, oh, just sure. seeing these people as like kid. So it kind of just always made me like. Now, at first, I thought I wanted to be a photographer because my grandfather and father were photographers. Then I was like, nah, damn, wait. I actually think it's more money in front of the camera, you know? And then growing up with my mom, I just would watch her in the morning or at night, get dressed, put her outfit together, you know? So as I started yeah. getting older and I got in high school, I started just like hustling for money to like thrift shop, you know? And then I started recording towards the end of high school and I was just like, fuck it. I was always me, you know? Like I was always like a leader. Like I never really followed anybody ever, so... I just always felt like at the time music was so like hip hop specifically was so like aggressive. It was so like dark and like you know like gangster street. And I was yeah. like, well, I'm, we're gonna change this shit. You know, I'm gonna come to shit with some red hair and fuck <laughs> yeah. it up. And yeah. I did just that. You yeah, know? you did. When you yeah. came in, you like made a lot of noise. Oh, yeah, 2016 was a big year. You know? Do you, do you think it's important to have like because you were exposed to something early on that probably a lot of people weren't like seeing like the possibility? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important for a person to see like what's possible to know that like they can do it for themselves? It's I think maybe it helps, right? Yeah. But I want to say that's the only way because I know people who come from nothing who made it, right? I think right. it's just important to have an imagination and believe in yourself, right? Like I mean, it's hard living in negativity, you know, um, but. The most important thing, genuinely, if you believe you can do something, you will do it. That's important. You know, it doesn't matter what you've seen, no matter what you like. It's just what you, like if you believe in yourself. So, do you do you heavily believe in the idea of manifestation? Fuck yeah, I did it. Yeah, I do it all the time. Did you know that you were doing it before you did it? Um, no. Like, were you aware of it? Because I think I it's mean, something I, that I think it's something that we all do, whether mm -hmm. we're conscious of it or unconscious of it. Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely wasn't like crossing my legs, closing my eyes, and like hum and like you know. Like, <laughs> I get you. Right? I get like you. I wasn't, but yeah. I, so, but but I think um, my mom was just my mom. Shout out to my mom. My mom was really heavy on like you got to have a plan in life. You know, you can't just wing it. Just like you know, figure it out. Like you know, you got to have a plan. And so I just started like planning it, and then kind of step by step doing it. So it wasn't like it just fell in my lap one day i was just like a fucking millionaire that what age did that start you think planning it that was 2016 yeah 2015 to be specific but like planning it where what stage did you start planning it oh right at the end of high school okay yeah what did you plan like in what just that, like that you my, my whole thing like um i was say you know when i graduated i moved to new york and i moved to new york new york because at the time like you know there was tumblr and like all the kids that were really trendy and in that and style lived in New York. So, so I moved to New York. I'm gonna make these connections and build these friendships with these guys to have these big followings. So that when I'm not gonna tell them I do music, but when by the time I do, we'll already be friends. Cause um the support of a friend is always a bigger push than someone you pay. Right? Oh, yeah. For right. Sure. So I was like, it's I'm gonna more... build this relationship with these guys. Instead of paying them to promote me, I'm gonna build friendships. But that's with more guys. rare too. Yeah. yeah, people don't realize how important that is. Like most people come at it right away, like, yo, I need I wanna be good at this. Like, can you help me with this? Instead yeah. of like building a real relationship of with course. someone. Of course. Well well, the, the the smartest people know that and the yeah. biggest people know that, right? Yeah. Like uh like uh like like uh Drake, right? Yeah. He's not just doing features with anyone. Like you can't pay for a Drake feature. You know, like no matter how much money you can't, like he only does music with his friends or people that he respect. That he wants to do it with. Right. Yeah. You know, um, that's just kind of off topic, but it's just like connected to like, you know, like it's just so much more important to build relationships. Yeah. What's your relationship with Drake? I oh, mean, he's like, it's my, it's my brother. Yeah. So, how did it start? I met Drake in 2016, or 2017 in, 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 U, in the UK in Birmingham. Yeah, at a show, at one of his shows. And, um. Did he search you out? Was he like, yo, I want to talk to this guy because I like his No, I see, I don't know. I don't even remember. That was so long ago. I don't remember. I just so happened to be in UK the same time. Um, 
as well, I was in London and he was in Birmingham. It was like an hour away. And then I went to the show and that's when we first met. And um, I, we were cool. You know, I don't really, I honestly tell you the truth, don't know how we got to where we are now. You know, but we're like fucking a beepers. Is it like a same, a same like mentality as far as like creativity or Everything. is it like you just like vibe the same? Everything. I think we just, we're the same person. He's just like <laughs> 700 million dollars <laughs> richer. Do you want to get to that wait, level? Wait, what's Absolutely. that like when you guys chill? Is it expected that he's going to pick up the bill or do you offer to get in there? Uh, um, bro, he's, he's, I call him Bruce Wayne. He's like Batman, right? Yeah. Like, like you don't even see him pay for the bill. I oh, shit, you not. The bill is just, it just becomes paid for. <laughs> That's the circle you yeah. got to get in. And the, it's Yo, he doesn't pay for yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even need Apple Pay. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine that? I don't even, like, I don't even know if he pays the bill sometimes. It's like, it's just like, they it just, just gets it. paid. Damn. <laughs> it just, it just wow. gets paid. Like, he'll go, I'll fucking blink, and he'll be gone. Damn, it's like they just know. Or like, you just be like, to. I'll just like go to the bathroom and come back, and he's like already home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's this like birthday bender week been like uh it's weird because we've been actually working you know um um just just working thoroughly and you know, he's a super he's a really um i don't know man how he splits like in personal life and and um work life but he does you know like he makes time to, to for everything that matters while also enjoying himself, which is important because sometimes you could lose yourself in his career. Have you ever lost yourself? Um, you? I, I think so, but not in not to like the like party in life. I lost myself to just like heavy thinking, you know, like overthinking shit and like just like over, over, overly over putting heavy expectations on myself and just wanting more for myself. Yeah. Like what kind of music you produce and be good enough? Just or where what? I am in my career, where I want to go, the people I look up to, where were well, they at my at their age in my career? He blew up quick though. Yeah. So, so how how how's that experience and how hard does that make it to get used to something like that? It's weird, right? Because for me, it wasn't hard. I just I adjusted instantly because it was something I always dreamed of. But when you blow, when you get the thing about getting so big so quick. Like, it's like you have to maintain it. Creates so yeah. much pressure on yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's different when you start small and you slowly become huge. But when you start and you're at the top, it's hard to stay there, right? Because <laughs> well, you're learning how to do it. Well, I'm up. learning how to get back there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but even, even <laughs> well, like, bro, in, in general. In 2016, like, right, I think that's, you did Sprite with LeBron. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So it's like right out of the gate. I have, big I have, brands. Bro, I have 50 endorsements. By like twenty one, maybe like I, I killed it. Like I feel like no one, but maybe Travis. And I still don't even think Travis had more endorsements than me. Oh shit! Like I, because my, my image was so clean. Who was I the biggest one it. at that point? Sprite and I, I had Sprite, Target, uh, uh, Creative Director at Nautica. I did Uggs. Uh, Damn! I did, uh, <laughs> forgot fucking, about Nautica too. Yeah. Fucking, um, bro! I did so fucking many, bro. Um, I had Axe. Uh, Can you say what the biggest bag was? You don't have to say which company. Uh, like one time payment. Like five million. No, oh. you, I, not like I'm not like I'm not like. Uh, man, That's not bad for one. Well, no, I mean, but I was young though. I was like yeah. nineteen. Years but old. with those brands that you yeah, named, yeah. like those are all like oh, those, was, they all have cash. Was, oh, they have so much money. But the yeah. thing is, I feel like I was the first like black kid they were taking chances with. You yeah, know, why, like, why do you think that I, is? I had Reese's, Reese's Puff. I had, I had a couple. I had a but why time. do you think that is? Because I was well, like that I too. said, because my image was so clean. If we want to be realistic, I think I was just white people's favorite rapper. <laughs> yeah. Well, your music, like your lyrics, weren't like too like. That's you know. not true. People just didn't listen to the lyrics. Really? Yeah. Because people don't listen to the lyrics. Realistically, I'm just thinking of the hits though. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, but even if some of the hits, I, I literally said in broccoli, like something out, something like Columbine. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, yeah. People just don't really listen to lyrics. If you be honest, they just they just listen to the beat. And, okay, like, maybe that was hook. a time when rap like okay. really changed though that year. Mm -hmm. Like everyone in your class mm -hmm. too, right? Mm -hmm. was you that were part with, of like, that. Twenty one Uzi. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was 2016. Yeah. That's like the best class probably too. It was right? 2016, but it counts in 2017. Yeah. Yeah. That's like you tape. and all those guys are like. Everyone's kind of mostly twenty one. Me, yeah. yeah, that's insane. Yeah. That's weird how it's all the like. If you look at other years, like a lot of well, people that, have fallen off. Like that's, that's like best, a yeah. crazy. I mean, a lot of people fall off in my year too, but yeah. Can we can we talk a little bit about that learning process though? Going Which back one? to like the idea of you not knowing how to like carry all the 
all those responsibilities and then being kind of hard on yourself as far as like the direction you were going in or doing it right. What did you learn since then? Because now oh, you're so, older. So, so, so. What, what's so, the most important so, thing you learned? Much. I mean, I could go through a long list. You know, I think the thing was, it was just I wanted. I just like, it was never content, you know? Yeah. Like I always wanted more for myself. It's natural though. Well, it, it should be natural, but and a lot of people get into positions and get very comfortable, you know? And I think it all depends on who you surround yourself around. You know, if you're the biggest person in your circle, then you'll never know that you could do more. Yeah. You know, like if everyone around you looks up to you and calls you like big bro and you're like the big homie around everyone, you got the most money, you just think, okay, this is the shit. I'm that guy. This is what it is. You know, but if you surround yourself around people who do better than you, who motivate you, like right. that's why I love being around Drake. You know, right. like he constantly shows me like, huh, I can do more. I can do better. There is yeah. more. There is finer living. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like I never want to be like the big bro. I mean, I do. I love being someone that my, my bros can look up to, but I always want to have bigger brothers yeah that i can always That's lean so on true. to learn from what's something that he's really taught you that like really stuck with you drake specifically um, i think it's just not to be so hard on myself i'm extremely hard on myself yes yeah, you know um and i just i just think a lot of things that i do aren't 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 that good you know but do you I think, think that yeah but i think he he it, like but within our friendship he's 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 like probably been one of the most um, I don't know, like, he's just, he's really showed me, like, that I have, like, that I'm good, you know? Um, which I've always thought I was good, but he shows me, like, tells me that, like, I'm really good, you yeah. know? Which kind of gives me a big confidence, you know? Because, like, he's, like, the best rapper in the world, you yeah, know? Crazy. The biggest and the best, so, like, if he's saying yeah. that, you know? Um, and it just, like, I think it, it's, it's a lot of things, right? It's even, like, the, just, like, the whole surrounding like even the company kept um it, it it all plays a hand you know just to be around everyone it, it uh it just kind of like boosts me i've been in like a really good headspace and i've just been killing it is is, is that where you think the whole poland thing came out of like no like no i did poland early this year when i was okay. making my last album well my next album that i I was just fucking around. Poland was a joke, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's so I funny. Wait, that. Does, that, does that bother you when you make like a song that's a joke and it goes viral? Or are you like, what the fuck? The only reason it bothers me because my next album is so fucking good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like, worked so hard on it. And it's, it's this alternative. Like content wise? Album. Oh, just like, yeah, just like the, the album itself, yeah. bro. It is like a, it is a full-fledged album that I worked really hard on. I feel like that's going to fuck with your head when you're fucking around and then this song no, is I don't fuck with my head. Song. It's just funny. It just lets me know I'm really better than almost everyone. How did it even decide to get posted? So what happened was, I explained to you, what happened was, this fucking hacker is always bothering me, right? I got to pour some of this water out because I can't. I hate drinking water in my drinks. Yo, uh, <laughs> this fucking hacker is always bothering yeah. me, right? Yeah. And he hits my phone. I don't know how he got my fucking phone number, but he hits my phone and he's like, uh, I have your album. I'm going to post your album. Just fucking bother me. Just fuck with me. I know he doesn't, but I'm like, he's like, you have this song called Poland, bro. Please, bro. Send it to me. And at the time, I'm like, bro, no one gives a fuck about my leaks, right? Like, well, I'll send it to him. Like, nothing's going to happen. So I send it to him. I don't know who the fuck the guy is, but like, I didn't think he was going to post it. And even if he did post it, I didn't think anybody would give a fuck, right? But so the thing <laughs> was, I've been fuck? working with that sound, like that, you know, wiggly shit. I've been doing it for like the last year, but I just didn't post any music. So in my mind, genuinely, I just forgot that it was new to the world. You know, but yeah. I've been doing it. I got like a hundred songs with that type of shit, right? But I forgot I haven't posted anything. So when it went out and people heard it, like, what the fuck is this? What is Yachty doing? He's like singing. I've never heard this before. This is insane. But honestly, it was just... Any had any song that I had dropped that I've been making lately leaked, it would have did that because they all have this like I've just created this new sound. So, well, like, hold on, Brad, one sec. All right, I'm ahead. just curious. Did you play that song for people? No one's no. I didn't play it for nobody. I didn't play it for myself. I had so you had nobody I made it and never listened back to it. Like I, I, I had no intentions of ever dropping a song. <laughs> How That's do crazy. you decide what new sounds are? Like, what in your mind creatively are you like? You make them. You know, right, right. I, I know well, you make them, but like, where do you start? Is I it just. studio all day. You just like, this out. sounds cool. I don't club. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Like, I'm in the studio, like, I, every day, right? So, like, I was like, fuck, I want to do something different. You know, I made this album. The next album that I dropped, well, so 
Like, I'm gonna ask that question first. I, uh, I'm just in there and I'm just trying to, honestly. It's just like, it's just experimenting. It's nothing different than just like, let's test, let's click this button. How do you know when it's, how do you know when you're like, that's it? I just know. Like, you yeah. know how when you heard it, you're like, what the fuck is this? this like that. Okay. You know, it's like, whoa, what the fuck did we just do? Yeah. Well, yeah, that was. How, how, how essential is it to have walk or drink to create a banger? Oh, well, it's not essential at all. It's just fucking good. Just good in the studio? <laughs> it's just good in your life. <laughs> He's addicted to Addies. That's why he wanted to know. No, how it went what the thing, fuck, you know? bro? Sorry, sorry, so sorry. <laughs> Shit. I mean, that's you tried me earlier. Yeah, it's really like quickly, you want to go that's back not and forth. True. That's not true. Wait, wait, it's like, okay. What, he he, he like runs off the Addies. You like twenty fives? Like the no, orange ones? No, no, bro. We don't. We love you. We love you. We probably fuck around with the same shit. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with that. It's good for you. Nothing's wrong with that. But there's when you drop the word addiction, there's a little issue there. So sorry. You like to take them often. I got you. Sorry. You like you like the you like the blue ones. <laughs> yeah, the blue ones are better because they're not as strong. Oh, he likes yeah. it. Moderate. Did he make a song about that? I did an era once and I made 15 songs. <laughs> yeah, and I did not sleep. <laughs> I was a fucking wired. Like, did that. any of them was, come out? Were they good or no? I never did it again. I don't know. No. I, don't know. I, never, I couldn't it, because I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was geeked. I just felt up wired. Like I could have cleaned six houses. How much How much music do you have made already? This uh, uh, thousands of songs. Thousands of songs. Yeah. No way. I feel like every artist yeah. says that shit. And then it's like... No, it's true, though. I can't speak for every artist. But of course. I got a shit ton of music. I mean, I've made like maybe 30 songs in the last two weeks. Why have you been so quiet with your music before, uh, before because, the pandemic? I, because I wasn't trying to rap. I was trying to pivot my career. Oh, you, you want know? to be done with it? No. Whoa. No, I'm I, done. I just want to... Like, pivot into fashion? That was crazy. Yeah, it was wild, yeah, right? No, you're I mean, firing right you now. Said, you said you pivot. Well, yeah. no, you said pivot. I, I wanted to pivot my career as an artist. You know, like I made an alternative <laughs> album with a, live, with a live band. You know, okay. like I made like a serious, amazing album, a psychedelic album. That is just- Wait a second. He said a magic word. Yeah. That's wonderful, bro. Psychedelic. It, the album is insane. It's, mm. It'll blow your mind. bro. You take mushrooms? I take acid. Oh and my God. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> and DMT. Wow. Really? really? You taking mushrooms. you taking DMT? Take, yeah. No, wait, wait, hold on. But do you hold do on. acid and record? Uh, no, no. Fuck wait, hold no. on. But I do acid and I think and hold I on. plan out my future. You taking DMT all the time? Have you smoked what? it? How do you take it? Tea? Been snorted. You? Oh wow. Well, have you? Your, we got to talk about how that. many what times you, have you done have DMT? You or no? Shit ton. No, it's something I'm afraid to do. Like you can't even count how many times? Yeah, way more than I could count. Wow. Yeah. Why is it so bad? Hold on. It's, it's not, not bad. bad. It's just I'll interesting. It's not right bad. Now. It's just deep. Hold on. Let's talk about your first. I'll pull out right now, Pauls. Really? <sighs> Can we do it after the podcast so I don't yeah, make a fool myself? Buddy, I'm not touching Fuck DMT. Why Yo, not? what was your first experience like? And how, much, and how did you do it? My first experience was shit because I didn't know. I didn't have anyone around me who did it before to teach me how to smoke it. I thought we just pull it like weed. But it's like you hold it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I had no clue. So yeah. My first experience was dog shit. But the first working experience. Yes. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I did it to Pink Floyd. You ever seen Jimmy Neutron when like a nigga has the like he go in his brain and it's like he had to go in with the, with <laughs> yes. the chemicals? That's the yeah. fuck. It was like some shit like but that. Like, did you did you go back into your like were you closed eyes and you had the visuals or you first were open? time? Yeah, first time I was closed eyes. First time, okay. first few times I was closed eyes. And I was like, damn, what is it like open eyes? <laughs> I was like, whoa, <laughs> fuck, it's <laughs> fucked, bro. It's fucked in with their eyes open because you're seeing things like you're seeing what you know you're seeing that is not what. You're seeing, yeah. You know, what the fuck, I'm seeing this. What the fuck? What have you learned from those experiences? Do you learn anything? DMT, nothing. Just like that. Like there is definitely the Earth is not the only planet. <laughs> Straight up, it's no way, bro. It's bro, like just the way your brain can do things that it can do. It's no way. You yeah, think it I opens up like another sense almost, bro? It just <laughs> yeah, shows you that like insane. the fuck we could fly if we wanted to. Well, what else do you think's out there? A lot Sounds of shit, bro. You've seen some crazy shit. Or the what? universe is so small. The universe is so small and there's so many other galaxies bigger than our galaxy that swallow this galaxy. It's just no way. So would you go out to space for the opportunity or not? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need yeah. to know what's out that there. That shit's just... scary because we're only as smart as our senses. Oh, really yeah. And I'm too. just yeah. not as educated, you know? Like, like I would love to if I was an astronaut. Yeah. But I don't know what's out there. I wouldn't know the first thing to do, bro. All I eat is chicken nuggets and pizza. I'd die. <laughs> yeah. What's good with that? Hey, what's what going about, on with pizza? You got you, a spot Why don't you now? try something new? Yeah, dude. I, well, not a spot, but I have a frozen pizza in all Walmarts. 13,000. Yeah. Go get one. Is that um, out? Yeah. Hell yeah. When did that come out? Uh, like two months ago, every Walmart is doing really good. 
Yachty's Pizzeria. How, how the, you, yeah. Hold on. What are the best toppings on pizza? Let's talk about that real quick. Uh, best I'm toppings. simple, right? So I just like pepperonis. Or pepperonis and bacon if it's good bacon. Of course. But do you believe yeah. that pineapple should be on pizza? It's I don't very comfortable. Fruit. What? I don't eat fruit. Okay, fair. Yeah. I think it shouldn't be on there. I, I would not. No, I, I think it's kind of fire. Well, you don't eat fruit ever. No, no, I'm, I don't eat fruit. Like apples, oranges, blueberries, none of that. Mm-mm. Why? You just don't like it? I just never had it. Wait, wait, you never had it. Are fire. Yeah, you I'm going cap it? on that. Mm. I'm going cap. You're going cap? Yeah. Nah, You've never had one pineapple. Nah. I like pineapple soda, though. It's good with the, with the red. <laughs> Yo, yeah. the what Yo. about the yellow Fanta? Isn't that That's pineapple? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's oh, good okay. with, the, with, the, with like a three of walk. So you've had it in drink form. Yeah, yeah but I don't eat food. Do you eat vegetables? Mm. No, shut the fuck up. I don't. What do you wait? Hold on. <laughs> What's your like typical breakfast? I mean, I wake up like four or five p.m. But. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. bro. I don't, I don't go to sleep till like one, two p.m. You say in a studio? Like, what's your normal day like? Up, yeah, bro. we gotta hear day yeah, life. I, yeah, I'm like up all night, bro. I, I I go to the studio probably like seven o'clock. We in there till about like six, seven in the morning. I go home, play games. I used what I was doing when I was I was leaving the studio like five, not work out five to six a.m. Take a shower, play games till about like noon. Sleep all day. So you are in the gym though. I was in the gym, but oh, I've been it. with Drake the last like four day, four months. So it's hard to like. I stay. thought he worked been out, with though. him for four months. Damn near. Wait, yeah. doing what? Oh, just making music, like working. Yeah, music. We're just working and just hanging out. Do you do you help him with projects? He helps you with projects. How does that relationship go? Everyone helps everyone. Yeah. We're family here. But I gotta be honest. I don't think you guys are on the same daily regimens. Like, is he staying? No, up no, till- bro. He's Superman. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's like, one of those that like doesn't need sleep like, and shit. He's healthy as shit. Oh, here we it's go. It's crazy, but I mean, bro, obviously, bro, when you're fucking Clark Kent, like, <laughs> does he ever push you to try like your, your yeah, veggies he, and your fruit? Yeah, he he hates it, bro. He hates it. Why did so, you develop that? Not eating fruit and veggies. It's like, not that. I, I think it's just like my mom. Mom, I, I didn't grow. My dad like didn't live with us, but my mom like she worked like two jobs, so she just come home super tired and like get like. McDonald's or a pizza, and then like I don't think she realized that it just became like a twelve year thing. Oh, I and, like I just never ate, I never tried anything. By the time I got old, my taste buds was like fuck that. Yeah, are your parents divorced? Is that yeah? Why? They divorced when I was six. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's my dad's the shit. They're cool. That's what's up. Yeah, no. it's not like a sad story. What do they think about all the things that you're doing, things that you're you're working on? I mean, my mom's my business manager, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, my mom, she knows everything that happens. She knows every dollar that's spent, so she's in it. Uh, it's cool though. I think I'm pretty sure they're pretty happy. I mean, I fulfill all of their desires. Yeah, yeah. I'm good to my parents. They were good to me. What yeah. do you What do you look for when you're like getting like an endorsement deal or doing like a brand partnership? Yeah, like, do you are you a guy that always needs like control of the creative completely? I didn't used to, but I was so young. But now, yeah, because it's important when you put out. It's just as important as whatever they pay you. It's your image, right? So like. Fuck taking all those M's and then you look like a fucking goofball on, on the screen. Yeah. You know? So um um now, yes, at first it was just like, man, I need to see the M's. You know? Yeah. Uh, but I care now. Now it's much more important the creative. But that's just because I'm in a whole different lane. I was so young then. Have you ever felt taken advantage of in, in this industry? No. No. No, not taken advantage of. I I just felt like I was I, I take a lot of responsibility. I don't really blame much of anyone because I do what the fuck I want to do, right? So, I mean, in the beginning of my career, I was just young. Mentally, I was just at a different state point than I'm in now as an artist. You know, like a lot of those songs, I don't regret them because they got me to where I am, but I'm not that same person anymore. You right. know, like I'm not in the I spy mindset anymore. Yeah. I'm not on What do that. you mean by that, though? I just like I've changed so much. You learn. You learn what do you mean, you like know? the style of it? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's just as a human being. You know, like I'm I'm 25 now. I was 19 years old. But what about that? Like, what about like I Spy, for example? Like, what do you mean you're not? I just don't know if that's where my head is as far as music anymore. You know, like well, it's got to evolve. I can't wait till you guys hear my um, album. It, it, when the world hears it, they'll look at me in a different light as an artist. You know? I see what you. What mean. do you think changed the most? Um, like I Spy is like a poppy type rap. Yeah. Song, I like. Right? I don't mind pop music. Yeah, it's fire. Just I don't know how to explain it. I just I think sonically I've just grown. You know, like to just like a new height as an artist. And I'm also a rapper, right? Like a really fucking good one. Uh, 
contrary to the belief. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I, 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 I take rapping extremely serious. Do, you does know? that bother you when people kind of say you're more pop or mainstream? Uh, I mean, I just think people don't do their research. So I was saying, we were listening to, we have a song that just came out on 3.5 with Lil Baby, mm. right? What's it called? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Yo. It's a banger. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know. When I put music out, bro, I'm on to the next. Just move Yo, on to the next? I love it. Yeah. Are you uh, like that with everything, not just music? Like you just like go, go, go? Uh, no, nah, I think just music, bro. I make so, bro. I make, I'm telling you, bro, I have thousands of songs, bro. It's really hard. It's hard to remember the fucking lyrics. All right. Besides Drake, who's your most favorite person that you worked with? Because you can't say Drake. I mean, you talk about him a lot. Why well, can't I? Because cause we are, because we're just assuming, I'm assuming that that's the guy because everything we've said. But so if we're not saying Drake, who else? It used to be Juice. Me and Juice would go in the studio and just yeah. like rap. Bro, he was so talented. Yeah. It was so quick. Other than that, I mean, I don't work with too many people. Probably like Sada Baby from Detroit or somebody I could, I, whoever's fast. A lot of artists aren't fast. Like I'm creating really the music? Quick. Like just really quick. Like turnaround? Yeah. yeah. Like right. it's just, it's either I have it or I don't. Like either I feel it, I can do it instantly or I, I can't do it. You know, I don't know. Um, how picky are you with like what if you sent something? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, super picky. Yeah. Super picky, bro. Because I feel like a lot of music sounds the same, and I hate to feel like I'm wasting my time on a song. If I feel like I'm wasting my time, I just like stop. Like I come back to it, you know. And yeah. sometimes I have to just listen to it later to be like, oh, that was actually pretty good. I could finish that. But sometimes I get in my head about it. But I just if I feel like it doesn't sound worth. Because, like, you know, especially if I have people in the room, I hate feeling like I'm wasting people's time. You know, it's like, oh, God, I feel like they have to listen I to saw, this shit. I saw earlier you did a, you had an album and you started it over four times. Is that true? Yeah, hell yeah. Libo yeah. 3. I, did, I, re, I started Libo 3 over so many times. How, how do you do that? So you it sounds like you're in your head at that it. point, right? Well, I mean, that and, like, one time I played it for Young Thug and I just could tell he thought it was dark shit. So I just started over. Wow. Because you didn't want he it just to be dark? Straight up, it's no, he was, like, he, needs to, he was like, your BPM is too slow. These records are just too slow. I think that's a nice way of saying it shit sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you do you like a, <laughs> do you appreciate like the honesty or do you disagree? Or? Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Everyone has a different opinion though, right? No, but I, it was true. Yeah. Yeah. What's your relationship like with Thug right now? You good? Uh, I, don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Fair. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. Besides Drake, who do you have the best relationship with in the industry? Uh, Besides Drake, who do you have the best relationship with in the industry currently? I don't know. I mean, I, I think Drake is the only guy I actually talk to. I'm really close with Tyler. I call Tyler for advice all the time because he's super fucking smart and he's just like this fucking business genius. You know, when it comes to like owning your own business and shit like that. Yeah. So, I, Ty, like Tyler is really good. I can always count on him. He always answers the phone. Yeah. Rocky is sick too. I don't call him Rocky much. He's like doing his own thing, but like I got a lot of love for him. That's about it though. I don't really, it's not too many people. The people I call on and hang with aren't like rappers, you know? Like I hang with like people. Just like my friends. Yeah. You You hang out with Kai. Kai's cool. Oh, Kai might be the coolest guy. I know. We played golf with him. He's actually pretty good. Yeah, Lied about his handicap, he's but he's a shit. Yeah. But <laughs> even crazier guy next to Kai, Simon, he's a shit. He's the shit. So everyone in this room with me is the shit. I well, don't know about y'all. But. Do you live in Atlanta with this? <laughs> yeah. You live in Atlanta with the squad? Or? No, 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 no. Uh, that's Boy Wonder, one of the biggest. No, I know, I know. In hip hop, I know you know. But you I'm have saying yeah, that's yeah. him. You gotta say his name. <laughs> yeah. Boy Wonder, uh, pay my respects real quick. No, no, yeah, that's Boy Wonder. That's that's a smart artist. That's Camo. You know what I'm saying? He's he's new, but he's gonna fuck shit up real soon. So, obviously, yeah, that's Camo. That's Kai, and that's the Steez Simon. You know, yeah, I was just Z1. saying that because I saw that you moved into a house with nine people I in bought, Atlanta. No, 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 no. I live by myself now. That was my old house. I bought a house, and then I bought the house next door, and I had the homies living over there. But I moved them out. And now my mom lives next door. How crazy was that when you did live with Snyder? Oh, that was nothing. I lived with 15 people before that. It was a real world, <laughs> oh, real world Atlanta. What's that what like? And who is dull? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Until you pay for everything. <laughs> yeah. And you got $3,000 a month in grocery bills a week. <laughs> and they break and shit. And you should start going missing. And then your car starts getting But how do you stay focused it. with all that? Focus. I was like, I was like twenty. Stani, we li- still yeah, live with like just, six people right now. Yeah, dude. yeah, but people. bro, you're in bed by eight fucking thirty every night. <laughs> really? Cool? No, you go yeah, like, no, it depends. Okay, nine thirty. Be real. He's up early working out if, though. To if be I'm fair. At home, oh, okay, like okay. when we're traveling. What's early? What's up early? 
Bro, you're up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? Yeah, he's up. I'm working up when at you're 6 going to bed. Too. He's getting no, up. No, 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 I'm going to sleep at 11. Wait, you 12. wake up at six? You go to wait? No, no, wait. no, I'm up. I go to sleep at like 1 p.m. 12. 1. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm up all night. You knock turtles, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, do you, my, do my you like that? Fuck. I get fucking scared if I'm up at like four or five a.m. because I'm no one else is awake. Oh no, I love it's it. I mean, I'm out. in the studio. I'm not trying to talk to people. Yeah, I'm trying to make yeah. fucking records. Well, it's it's probably not as bad if you're like not drinking too, Stein. You know. Yeah, I've never been drunk. Yeah. Wait, wait, I wish I could say that. Sober up till like twelve, yeah, then it's like not yeah, as bad. Never, I'm scared of alcohol. Crazy, bro. like DMT. I, all this yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's never creative. It's like it's a difference. Like no, alcohol different. is like, mm, mm, mm. you know, like acid. I'm like, I'm like, what do I need to do in the next five years? What to get where I need to go? So you really value that like thought towards those kind of things, bro? It opens your mind with a key. Like I think about shit that I have never thought about or that yeah. I wouldn't have thought about. I've been trying to get him to do mushrooms. It's deep, bro. See, if you're scared, bro, don't do it. No, I know. No, I feel like if you're scared, you got to do it. Well, I, I don't because like it really, you start thinking, bro. You get deep in your head, bro. But then it it's ends. fucked. And then you realize, like, no, wait a minute. It ends, but it's like all the time before it ends, you're like, please end. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. Yeah. But I yeah. but I also always appreciate it. Looking I back. love it, personally. Yeah. I just never, I just tell people like, if you're going through things in your life, like shit you're hiding, or like you, only you know what you're up. really going through. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't do it, bro. Because you're going to bring it to the front of your brain. But isn't that a good thing? Don't you think it's a good thing to so that it you just address it? It depends how dark it is. If it's like some deep, dark... You know, well, you don't think it's better to hold it down. That's it not depends. Bad. Like, if you know, like, you were butt raped and like it hurts oh. you, I'm just saying, like, if you're thinking about that secretly, he like, that'd be, that'd be a brutal oh. trip. Eh? Yeah, oh. you, Fuck. you think I'm just thinking, like, if that's some shit you're hiding and like you think about it at night, maybe when you're keep alone, hiding it. You think about why because like, it'll be like 10x if you're on shrooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it brings it to the forefront. Fuck, That shit was crazy. He was gripping my neck and he had my head in the whoa, pillow. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> no, no, like, wait a minute. No, sounds just like you've gone through that. No, no, fuck. Okay, then what's your deepest 10x thought? I don't know. Oh, What's your worst 10 thought? My deepest 10 thought is like going broke on my mother dying because she handles all of everything I do. So if my mother dies, I'm fucked. I don't know how to pay a bill. I don't know how to fucking call the doctor or nothing. Like my mom dies, I'm shit out of Yeah, lot. that's a real one. Yeah. Wow. So these guys are these guys are playing games. You're a big gamer, huh? Hell yeah. You can't. excited for Call of Duty? Man, what? Oh, Are we, are we, fuck. Come on, bro. What, I can't what wait. are we talking about now? I can't wait. Well, and Grand Theft Auto 6. And GTA oh, fucking my God, 6, bro. bro. I, I can't still wait. got a long time till that though. Yeah, that's that's like time. I know it's but crazy Modern that Warfare's gets leaked coming, so early. I, when did that drop? When does that drop? That's like what? A, a, Modern Warfare's way, Friday. way away, yeah. bro. But they Damn. leaked shit early. No, no, no. We're talking about Modern Warfare. Wait, what are you talking oh. about? Rockstar? I was talking about GTA. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Who's your favorite COD of all time? Yeah, name it. Four, hopefully. Top three, actually. Two. Two. Black Ops. Black Ops one. Which one has terminal in it? MW two. Terminal. Yeah, Modern Warfare. MW two. Original. And uh, original MW two, yeah. I really liked. What was what was the last duty just now? The last one that just uh, dropped. Yeah. How do we not know this? Fucking. What is it? It's fucking rival to Fortnite. No, not Black Ops. Yeah, Vanguard. Vanguard. Yeah. Loved Vanguard. You like Vanguard? Yeah. I loved Vanguard. Really? Because it moved did. just like it moved just like like two. What awards? Godly, obviously. I like do, that wait. old shit. Okay. Oh, like all like of the, them except for the futuristic. Okay. So you didn't like the the modern stuff then? Like I like the, modern. I just didn't like when like he had Black the Ops. when he could fly and had to like. Yeah. Oh, that was bullshit. Yeah. bullshit. Yeah. What was that? Infinite Warfare? No, that was that Modern was Warfare after. or something. That, that was, was bullshit. That, that ruined the game. Infinite Warfare. That ruined Black the game. Yeah, Black Ops Two. I think. Yeah, it was when they started getting crazy with the flying and shit. No, that ruined the game. The expo shit. That shit wasn't it. So you do you like streaming? I used to. You stop. You done with it completely? Yeah, but I was one of the first rappers to stream. I was streaming in 2017. Oh, that is that yeah. is or yeah, yeah. I've been streaming on Twitch. I was before the wave completely. So why'd you stop? Because I be I felt like I became I, be <clears throat> I became too accessible as an artist. Mm. Too accessible. Yeah. Do you think that it impacts like the way people like consume your music? Absolutely. Really? Think about yeah. think I about, think so as a rapper. Well, T yeah. Grizzly because rapper pretty needs to have like there. a sense of like yeah, but T Grizzly you watch leans his more into his streams and rapping. That's what I'm saying. He's kind of transitioned. He's like a streamer. I consider him yeah, a streamer now. That, I don't want you to consider me that. I don't. I consider you a rapper. Yeah, I don't want to be a DMT doer. I don't. <laughs> a DMT -er. Dude, that's I don't want to be considered mm -hmm. uh, that. Respect to T Grizzly. I love T Grizzly. One of the best rappers. But I don't want you to think I'm a streamer over a rapper. Well, let me I ask rap. you something though. I make. I'm an artist. What if? Because I think I I was looking into the T Grizzly stuff. I think he might be making. So yeah, much he's money now. A shit streaming. ton of money. That's awesome. I make a shit ton of money too. But is it more like a passion? Like I want to be a rapper. 
more so if the bag's bigger with streaming? No, no, Hypothetically. No, no, no. It's just about what you love to do as a person. Yeah. Right? Like, 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 bro, I'm an artist. I have integ my artist integrity is at a hundred. I need you to understand that and respect that, you know? And I love playing games. But also I'm gonna tell you, when you do these things, right? Like, you know, when you do these YouTube videos. And you show the world your everyday life and you're twitching every day at 6.30 and you're on Instagram Live and you're this you. and you're that. People treat you like the nigga on the street. You know what's crazy? You know, you, you lose said that. that. You don't, you're not like fucking my, that Michael Jackson effect when they just know, oh, he has a girlfriend and he lives in Atlanta and I know I can see him at 6.30 and he's got a haircut. And like, it's like you're not, Wait, you never are that guy. Kyle. This was in Fredonia, but we were, you had a vlog. I can't remember who it was with, but you and another rapper were at the gas station, I think in two McLarens or something. You had a YouTube video. I don't McLaren. I don't drive McLarens. I had a Ferrari. Some, I don't know. Yeah, like two Ferraris, but it was like but, the coolest uh, vlog I've ever seen. I, I want to talk about the idea of like. Uh, and I stopped doing that too. I stopped doing vlogs too. The idea of like, the, the, we're talking about the irrelevancy and like falling off. Because um, people talk a lot of shit based on like someone's like last project, et cetera. Like, for example, mm -hmm. I was doing a pod with Jiddy on the other day and they were talking about how like, like I was saying how you guys did Elon Musk, you did these like Andrew Tate pods, these crazy pods and the next person wasn't as crazy. And they're like, oh, you fell off. Right. People always kind of like so run their mouth. That's so fucking stupid. Yeah. What's your opinion on that? Because it's like every single thing you do, I feel like people think it's got to be the best, better than everything else well, you've I ever done. I think everyone is, is just dumb. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, why not? Hey, I love this fucking show. Right. Yeah. But you're That's what it used to be back in the day. It exactly. Was right or wrong, thick or thin. This person had a bad album, a good album. I fucking fuck with this guy. Yeah. Everyone's Not trying to like this. The next artist, like, who the fuck do you have to Trump? Fucking Neil Armstrong? Like, what do you do? Who's yeah. Who do you, like, it's like fuck. It's like I fuck. It's like it should be ride or die. Not yeah. oh, you next person you did wasn't as big as. The Why do you think it's changed? So no, I know. People well, Brad, don't care. They just want to be entertained. No, well, you're They're missing the bigger picture, there, bro. They just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Brad, it's and, so and it's the attention span. Majority of them are children. Yeah. So why, why do you think? Kids. Why do you think that dynamic has changed so much? Because that's just what people have made it out to be. It started out with rap music with first week sales, and then it just kind of leaked over to oh, your subscribers or like how much video your video counts. It's just shit that doesn't matter. Fuck the content. It's all about the. <laughs> That fucked up my speech. I was going hard. <laughs> yeah, you Damn, I was yeah, going hard. That just fucked me Run up. that back. <laughs> yeah, I know. That just fucked me. I was going crazy. I, I think the, people just care about numbers, and it sucks because yep. people don't even care about the content. Facts. Yeah. But I also think what's fucked up is the attention span. So let's say the Elon Musk episode comes out, and then there's viral videos of you the next day. People are already over yeah, the Elon yeah, yeah. Musk shit. Yeah. Bro, it's insane. That's just how it goes. Yeah. TikTok changed the world completely, specifically, specifically with music. Do you like what would you say like because you know some people like blow up their songs i don't know if this is relevant or not to say I wait be, did you just picture here. the the head in the pillow or whatever you're saying when he did that when he nah nah okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, y'all are crazy i ain't never been raped ever no i just he came in hot with the mic <laughs> check yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah it was great just kind of stood over me just then put this in my face Pause. so so for example you know this like these these artists who kind of pop with with trending sounds on like tiktok etc yeah, yeah it's fucked for them like like ice spice is an example something i've seen just blow up on tiktok i don't know anything ice about spice her as an is artist. a bad idea because people know who she is there's more artists that songs blow up and you have no clue who made the song okay so there's other people right so maybe that's a bad example but mm -hmm. how do you think they're able to transition into actual artisthood it's hard do you think there's a way to do it maybe but if they usually don't yeah. I think your music just has to be fire at the end of the day. Nah, but, like, no, but it's not that. You have to have a personality. Yeah, 100%. You know, I love rapping it. is it's 50 50. 50% 50 of it is the music, and then 50 of it is like personality. And for some people, it's more personality than, than music. But then yeah. I think sometimes the personality comes, but they stay, they like come for that, but then they don't stay for the music. Like, I think a lot of people have fallen off because their music, at the end of the day, I feel like the music has to be fire. Yeah. But they still have some kind of a career because of the personality. Yeah. But unless you don't have personality, then you all the way fucked. You, do you think it's 50-50, the importance? Sometimes it's more, yeah. But more personality. more on personality. Yeah. Like some people can live and survive off having a personality. I 100%. Agree. Yeah. 100%. I mean, that's I what social media. We can name media. so many. Yeah. <laughs> that a that lot live of off, like not off of what they do, not that music, just off of their personality. People's perspective. Even, so. even someone that's more personality-based. Six nine. Yeah, true. He's still relevant. Debatable. People want to pull him Debatable, to like Debatable, but he's, a, he's, I don't know him. I don't know what he does in his personal life, but I know he's not like on the side of the street begging for change. No, he's definitely right? not. Because definitely he can not. still pull in millions of views on an Instagram video because he can still, he has a personality. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like it was on the first T- one, people. T-, T Grizzly. Yeah. T Grizzly, like you, you can hop on Twitch if you have a personality, you can create revenue. Yeah, hundred you know? percent. Like yeah. it's all about like if you have a put, but then you have artists. I'm not gonna name someone I want to, but I'm not gonna do it. But there's Damn, people who em. have <laughs> who have had hit records. Name them. Who have had hit records and don't necessarily have the personality, and then you fall short. You Lil know? Pump. Yeah. The hell. Yo, stop! Stop! Lil, stop! Lil stop. Were you thinking Lil Pump? Though? Were you thinking Lil Pump? J Cole told him everything. Okay, J Cole told him everything. Lil Pump. I don't give a fuck. I was thinking Lil Pump. He did goofy stuff, but I don't think he had a real personality. You know, like I don't think he had like like a funny or like charismatic or like entertaining. Bro, he was really big though. Who? We talking about? He was big for like okay, but off of one track to like kids. Yeah. How about Smoke Perp? Was that? That's like his homeboy, right? Yeah, he, did he was show, pretty he did big too. Show and it had like eight people. I saw that. Bro, I saw that. Fuck. How does that happen? Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Yo, that's fucked. Fuck. What do you think about guys that have had like timeless albums, but they just can't? Like, I think of Chief Keef, like finally rich, but he can't <sighs> make music the since then. Best albums ever. But it's one of the greatest albums ever. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I was just having this conversation on the day. It's so weird. Chief Keef's in a spot where you can't disrespect, bro. It's Chief Keef. No, of course you know? not. I'm just saying. That's it. But what do you think about like? Because he's came out with a lot of music and he can never he come just back. Got tired. He's he's, un, like, fuck he's it. undisrespectful. I don't know. Yeah, I respect him. I don't even speak on anything he did back. I don't know. It's Chief Keef. He's yeah. a legend. Love some Keith. people you can't. Young Thug. Well, you I'm not throwing you shit by the way. Can't That's speak on Young shit, Thug's bad. No, shit. but I'm just can't think. Speak on Gucci Man's bad shit. Can't speak on Chief Keef's bad shit. These people you just like. I don't know what they doing, but respect. So who who do you think? No, but what I'm saying is real quick. What I'm saying is like I don't consider like Sosa or like. Those guys falling off at all. They're mm-hmm. legends, but they could they just couldn't create an yeah, album know, quite like that. Yeah, I get, get it too. I just don't speak on it. I yeah, know. we get it's it. Fair enough. Sweep it under the rug. Who do you think are the most influential people in the industry thus far? Are you talking about rap? Rap, yes. Uh Chief Keef, Young Thug, Kanye West, Drake. How long is this list? Uh, five. How, top long, five. How, top how long five? you want? Five. What do you want? Top fifty? No, top five. Come on. <laughs> the fuck? Jesus Christ! We'll be here all night. Jeep <laughs> Key, Thug, Drake. Obviously, he influenced the entire world to sing and rap. Yeah. Uh, Kanye. Uh, and fifth, I say like Eminem, probably. Yeah. yeah. And then Nicki Minaj. Yeah. What do you think about the Kanye West stuff right now? Fuck, it's crazy. Yeah, He's what the fried. fuck? <laughs> no, they really, <laughs> no, they really like they like cut everything, bro. He's streaming everything. I don't feel like he doesn't care. I don't know, man. He's wild. He's yeah. <laughs> Shout we'll out to the Jews, though. Wait, what? <laughs> Shout out to the Jews out there. He said what? Shout, Shout out, out to, to the Jews. Jews. Well, yeah, I. I Am one. He's so Jewish. I appreciate shout out. that. Yeah, yeah. Lil Yachty I, I supports the Jews. Guess that with my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that supposed to mean? I just can feel it. I can smell it. Why wow, can... you feel like good energy? This guy's probably funny. Yeah, like, probably like pretty smart. Super good at math and like <laughs> good investments and all that shit. Oh yeah. yeah, for sure. I'll take that as a compliment. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that. Yeah. What, what about in the the fashion oh, space? Just, I fuck with Jewish people. Well, yeah, Jake's Jewish. Oh, yeah, he is. But I got a bunch of Jewish friends. It's shit. a good circle to be in. I agree. They look out. Um, so funny. What What about in the uh, the fashion world? What about it? Who Who else do you think besides yourself is some of the top dogs? Uh, Rocky, Tyler, ASAP Nas. What about Future? No. 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 Oh damn! No. Whoa! Absolutely not. Shout out to Future. Future. He's Future's that I fuck with Future, but like we talking fashion. He's got some fire fits though. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I got, are we talking about different things though, but I'm telling you, you're talking about drip. Yeah. I'm talking about something else, bro. I think yours is more creative, boy. I don't know what it is. Who knows? What do I know? I don't know drip. But you asked me my personal list. I was just telling you my personal list. I don't know anything though. I'm nobody. You said yeah, that you, when you said that when they asked you or you were asked about if you would perform with Lil Baby. When? There's an interview. Oh no, when academics asked me about going on tour with him. Yeah. You said you wouldn't do it? Absolutely not. But is that serious or were you just saying that? that? Us. Can you elaborate on why? Because we're two completely different artists. We have different fan bases. And I don't need, I don't need nor do I want that fan base. Respect to them, it's a hard, heavy um, fan base, but it's just not for my music. Mm-hmm. It's not for the album that I just made. It's not for the album I'm going to make after that. It's just, it's just not it. You know, but, you have to know yourself. And that's what's wrong with a lot of artists. They don't know themselves. Sure. I know myself. 
I know the music I make. I know who listens to it. I know who doesn't want to listen to it. And that's perfectly fine for me. It's millions and millions of people in the world. I'm not trying to please everyone. Yeah. How I'm not fucking it, God. How long did it take you to know yourself? Like in this business? Uh, music. I just always did, bro. Yeah. I've always been super in tune. I'm not some guy that just lives in the world. Yeah, I get I'm you. very, very in tune with myself. I'll pay attention. I'll watch my fans. I watch my like stats and I'm just in tune. Like I don't just push like you have a lot of artists that just drop shit and just go on about stuff. I'm in it. Yeah. yeah. Weird brain freeze. I didn't eat on ice cream. It's weird. I think mm. you're slept on for that a little bit though. Cause I think that rappers do adapt. A lot of the Atlanta rappers too, like just people in general want to display a certain scene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. But you what keep you it mean, real. Though? What do you mean? You got a brain freeze right now? Yes. Yeah, you gotta weird. do the tongue at the top of the mouth. I just tried to do, but I didn't I didn't eat nothing. That's weird. Do you eat ice cream or no? I love ice cream. Chicken nuggets, ice cream, and waffles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And pizza? Tight beat. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm um, like those too. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's crazy. It gets wild in the bathroom. <laughs> they just walk out and go pee? Yeah. This we shit always is do gangster, that. We, yeah. we, go, we could go for a yeah, while. I just right? leave? I mean, this yeah. This is fire. I look at that. Yeah. Personally, I'd look at that as disrespect, but. <laughs> Hey, you, whatever you think. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is fire. I just left. Okay, sick. Well, I just never experienced that in a podcast before. That was dope. Yeah, I just did a deal with Juski, right? Yeah. How's yeah. that? You guys ever, are you guys boys? I knew Juski way before he blew up. Yeah. Sick. Wait, you've been I'm watching his stuff? You seem like no, you no, know no. I don't know him. Oh, yeah. Well, like, Atlanta, we were right? really friends before he blew up. So I, I love everything that's happening for Drew. He didn't wash his hands, but that's dope. Yo, um, did you wash your hands? No, he did not. I dare him you to lie. Go back there. You're touching anything. You're touching furniture in his yeah. fucking oh, room. Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> go back there. <laughs> it's all Damn, good. It's bro, all good. Like, at least he's honest. He's honest. Come on. It's like he's honest. You said you're honest. I thought you were gonna say you did. Yo, I knew you'd be the motherfucker. I come back. He called you out. Okay. Yeah, I was listening. He paid attention to that. I listened. Oh, oh my God. God. Yo. God, bro. Yo, I don't want to hit disrespect. Noise. The mics and shit. Yo, what you mean? In a room like this, the disrespect. The mics would be fucked up, bro. I'm trying to look out for the fucking the you know quality what? I'm, of this I'm podcast. glad everyone's being exposed Yo, to your true persona. It's fine, dude. It's a podcast quality. No, it doesn't I'm, wash I'm, his hands. It doesn't crazy. flush. In a, in, a, in a guest room as well. That's crazy. Listen, man, my dick ain't dirty, so I, I ain't worried about it. That's all right? fair. Do you? That's fair. It's okay. Thank you. I got you never flush in your life. Suck my dick, bitch. Amen. Come on. Don't play with me. Okay, don't play with me. Yeah, he probably would, Gabe. You're right. Okay, take it easy on I'm that. I'm not going to never wash your hands, bitch. Shut the fuck I up. I do. I did earlier. Yeah? Why are you getting so aggravated? Yeah. <laughs> don't play me. Yo, you do never you wash back? your hands before? Yo, Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you're right. Okay, Why are you okay. going at him now? He's right. Holy yeah, shit. I'm right. Yeah, what the right. fuck? You're you don't right. play me? I can play you back. Yeah, you're right. What did I miss when I was gone? Um, Just the three of us want to beat your ass. Can okay, pull up then. Let's do it. No, nah, we're not going to do right, that. Sorry, shut the fuck up. Let's continue. Go ahead. Get deep real quick. Okay, no, okay. I was in the bathroom. Seriously, I was thinking about Get deep about the bathroom. This is what he does. No. I was thinking about this. Okay. Because I was thinking about DMT and ayahuasca and acid and all this stuff. I haven't stuff. done ayahuasca yet. I want to. Oh, you haven't? I'm scared. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid of it. I have friends that did it and like, bro. But, but you smoke DMT. Changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like the highest. No, ayahuasca is. But I, I, I do DMT recreational though. Well, right? you smoke DMT out of a pipe. I, I, have, I have, but I like to do it in the vape. Vape pen. Oh, okay, that's a little yeah. different. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So, but I like to do a recreation, though. I think you. It's all about what mindset you're going into it with. You know, like I'm not going to it for spiritual, religious reasons. Like I'm not trying to find the right or purpose. And other. What are you just, trying to find? It's just recreation, though. It's just fun. It's oh, just, so but that's the rips off the little vape thing. I'm talking about actually going no, to do a trip I'm like in you, Peru they, and like. Right, right. But that's like different. Yeah, different. that's like spiritual. Like when you go see a a, 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 shaman. a shaman. Would you do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When do you think you'd do it? I mean, I don't know if I really want to. I don't really. If I go see a shaman, I want to do ayahuasca. Yeah. Like in Peru or something. Yeah. That's like ooh, wherever, you know, but yeah. that's like the life change shit. Like I had homies did that and moved to Indonesia. And like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Stop yeah. eating meat and like yeah. Yeah. all kind of crazy shit. Seriously, started like lost hundreds of pounds and just like, just, <laughs> it's weird. Like change their complete like Stop cheating on their girlfriends and just like. Damn. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. it's deep. Psyched out, seriously. But so like, what, 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 like, what do you enjoy the most about psychedelics then? Like acid, all that kind just of stuff. The, just the level of, like, where my thoughts go. So like, every time you do it, do you do it with intention? Like of what you're doing? No it? intentions, but it just happens. Like you start, I start thinking like where I want to be in life and what I want to do. And like the next album that I made, I wouldn't have made if I never did acid. You know, you wouldn't have made it. Never have made really? it. Really? No, yeah, but like I started doing acid and started thinking about, damn, what would I like to hear? 
Who would I like to listen to right now if I was fucking fucked? So you did. So you did have intention. You didn't just do it just to do it. You no, like, but you, it wasn't intention though. I just it's it's years of doing it. And just like starting, I started like collect thoughts. I'm like, damn, I like this. Or I like this. Or I like how this will sound. This will sound cool. And then I start like, you know, maybe I'm just make this shit. Yeah. And it's, also, my favorite album of all time is Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, it's what? Dark Pink Side Floyd. Moon. Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy to me because you've never had a bad experience where you're like, yo, once fuck this, I don't ever want to do this. Again. Not, so no, many. I wasn't fuck this because I know it's all in your head. But well, I did one time have a bad shit. I was like, whoa, this shit sucks. Can you tell us what happened? Acid or mushrooms? What was it? Uh, um, acid. Yeah, and acid. it's just because I was trying to, right? Like, it was just, there's these things on YouTube you go watch, like these, <laughs> these, uh, I didn't say that. No, I know. But yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, you're funny. <laughs> I mean, yo, I'm please leave that in. Please leave that in. No, it's, just, goes. it's just being on acid and going on YouTube. I don't know why that just <laughs> 100% like, leave that in. Yeah. <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, go to YouTube and there's these like there's these dark web stories. Oh no. Yeah. Of Fuck. like people who like I don't know if they're real or fake, but like they're intense. Like these guys tell these stories of shit they've experienced on the dark web and it's just fucked. You know, well, like why this are you one guy that? was telling because I was trying to see how I, I didn't believe bad ships were real. So I wanted to see if it was real. Yeah. 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 Because I wanted to see if it was real. You know? And this crazy. guy was telling this story about how he was on the dark web and then this person started showing up outside his house and oh started like God. leaving messages on his computer like, I'm outside and one of these days I'm going to catch you. And it was crazy, bro. And then I just started tripping and started seeing demons and I was fucked. You never, you never had that just normally. You just had to, you had to. No, no, like, because I, because I, 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 my life is peaceful, bro. It's I have no problems, bro. I'm such a, I'm a good person. I'm good to people. I live a good life. I'm, I'm blessed. Like I, I have a good life, bro. You know, like just to be completely honest with y'all. So no, I don't get negative thoughts. I don't get nasty thoughts. I don't have rude thoughts. I don't treat people bad. So I don't, I don't like think about karma. Like something out to get me. Like I know I like. I know I slip and I know I'm like I'm good to people and people are good to me. Oh yeah. Have you that's have amazing. you always yeah. grown? Have you always grown just knowing that's how the way to be or someone? Well, I've just you always that? been a good person, man. You know, I just didn't, I'm not really I'm not negative. I'm not into that. Yeah. I'm not yeah. into that. It's just it's just what the, I, I keep moving. Is he always comes in, moves down? I move. I'm sorry. Like I'm just I think <laughs> my dad's a good person. My mom's a good person. They're good people. And yeah. I think it's just I was just raised to be a good person. I could tell too. Yeah. You were the vibe is great. The vibe is great. Only Very person cool. that dabbed me up at Drake's that. party too, so yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked. Do you have a nail polish thing? I had one, but the deal was fucked. They kind yeah. of fucked me. I'm not dead. It was fucked. Do you have like a dream or passion project that you want to work on? It was pizza. It was always pizza. And I did it. And it's like, now I think just open a pizza restaurant. Yeah. But it was always pizza, bro. It's my favorite what, thing. What's the process like with that? Like how many pizzas did you have to go to, through lot. to find the perfect one? A lot. A lot. A shit ton. Like, how much time do you think that be was? Be honest. It's fucking DiGiorno. Just be honest. No. It's, no, it's not. I've seen it. A picture of it looks pretty fire. way better. I have honey. <laughs> my... I'll, Competitors, man. You what, know? what was the stuff you? That's seen like before? me saying this is fucking. Uh, oh, okay, oh, we got yeah, it. Oh, got okay. it. Oh, okay. yeah, he got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, he wanted oh, that. Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, okay, all right, all okay. right, all right. Fuck Sorry, you. I apologize. <laughs> so how how fucking excited were you? Poor like, loco, huh? <laughs> like when the, <laughs> <laughs> we can't have that. Those are crazy. The poor locos are fun. You ever had the original four locos? Uh, no, I don't drink, but I've seen uh, people do them. No, and I've had those. They're the original. Bad, bro. When I was in high school, yeah. People used to take four locos and fucking four loco or juice. Jump off buildings. Bro, Do you ever have out. a juice? Oh, not for juice. I have four loco. I black too much caffeine. Four locos are fucked. It was crazy, man. They're wow, right? That's not a good experience. They came back, right? What yeah, the but they fuck? came back Yo, like not normal, straight not up. original. Oh, okay, okay. We saw a guy buying one at seven a.m. this morning. Yeah. Bro, that's a tough life. Bro, like, <laughs> that is a tough life. I wanted no, to say I bought, I bought him fucking <laughs> he asked for food, so I bought him fucking chicken tenders. And then of course and then he, he copped his own four loco? four loco and slips he it in. He wanted a four loco at seven in the morning. You got to stop him from that. I you mean, bought bro. it too, didn't you? Huh? You yeah, bought he it? did. Well, I bought him food, and then he just slipped in the four loco. So he said, like, "Fuck oh. it, get I mean, get bro, another one, get two. Should have handed him a happy <laughs> dad, bro. The <laughs> that's, that's that's his, that's I did, yeah. Sick. Sick. How much you pay for you? Uh, fifteen. Nice. What? I paid ninety eight thousand. What? Yeah. Why? Because they look how they look. Bro, but Wait, like, what are we talking about? On the teeth? Yeah. Well, you've got diamonds. No, no, that's a grill. He's talking about a, just for the top? Oh. Yeah, no, for all. I got every tooth in my mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got like sticks. Or something. Oh, no, yeah. What's, all, what's good with the... There's teeth. a huge differentiator here between <laughs> 9 and 15, so... Yeah. 
Yeah, how the fuck <laughs> that happened? What, what did your treatment look like? Buddy, you've asked me how much my teeth cost like 15 times. You know? well, I'm gonna yeah. get, yeah. Should, I get, the should info? I get them, bro? Like, is it going to help me pull more? He's no? trying to get the <laughs> info for sure. Yeah. For Buddy, sure. Yes, I swear to God, yesterday in the gym. Uh, dude, that's in the gym, bullshit. I did not ask like, that. In the gym, he comes up to me. He's like, Yo, bro, like, I think, I think I'm gonna get them, bro. I think I'm gonna get them. Yo, straight up. Yeah, I oh, believe no, that 100%. He's like, how much are you? I'm like, no, but I didn't like, say that. You said that. Are you gonna help me pull them? Pull I guarantee more. I believe that. Crazy. It's facts. Nah, he said that. It's okay, bro. <laughs> how, how, how much did the grill cost? <laughs> this grill's a gift. It was a birthday gift. From who? Friend? My jeweler. Oh, nice. Yeah. Shout out to my jeweler, man. So you probably wants to ask this next, but I'm gonna do it. What's your most expensive piece of jewelry? You think I can most expensive? One? Most expensive. Piece. I think the most expensive. I got a chain once. It was two hundred grand, and then I bought my mama chain. Now I, I got them together. My chain was two hundred. Her chain was a hundred, hundred something. And then I got this necklace. Drake has it right now, but it's like one hundred forty-five thousand. All at the same time. The, the, the my mom's chain and the, the two hundred thousand dollars chain. Yeah, I oh, spent shit. that three hundred together. But I had one little diamond necklace myself. I paid one forty-five for it. Yeah. Oh. So most expensive was that two hundred thousand dollars chain. Damn. Fuck jewelry. Yeah. What do you think about the jewelry in general? Because you see the the a lot of these a lot of rappers are getting kind of you know not being in good situations and taking out P and B got got kind of fucked with the jewelry thing. Yeah, I don't go outside. You think it's just? Do you think people should not do it? Or? I can't speak for people. I personally yeah. don't go outside. Sure. Is that like a fear thing, or just like fuck all that? I think people are just it weird. Yeah. Maybe some fear. I'm not fucking Shig Knight. I don't care. Yeah, I'm not getting got. Yeah, I got you. For sure. Have you ever had any experience where you felt like nope. unsafe? No, I don't go outside. Like ever? <laughs> not for real. I do not put myself in situations, bro. That's smart. It's And it's not even about being smart, just genuinely. I'm a homebody. You just enjoy being at home. Or with my, just with my friends. Yeah. And yeah. I, I genuinely would much rather do that any day than go somewhere and be somewhere I'm not supposed to be. I know where I'm not supposed to be, bro. Yeah. Don't you know? I don't know where you're not yeah, supposed you to be. Yeah, you can feel that sometimes. Hell uh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Only time you go somewhere you're not supposed to be is for pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 100%. Yo. For real. Yeah, that's so funny. I would say that's very yeah. true. It is, seriously. Excuse me. No, like, you fuck around. So like, it just scary. happens, man. You catch yourself in some wild situations. Donnie, what do you know about pussy, bro? A lot. Oh, you're that friend. What the fuck do you mean? He's a friend that everyone. Met each other. No, but I can just I can sense you're the friend that's like, yeah, bro, you don't give it. Just <laughs> I just that's how they're treating you. That's Sorry, bro. Right. We love you, dude. Uh, I'd like to. We all play a role on this podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, I mean, no, but I've had my fair share. For sure, you have bitches. You're I've on this podcast many times. If you're on this podcast, you're definitely getting bitches. I wouldn't say that's the only reason I'd say it. Bro, I'm sure a, this good helps sense of humor. Up. I'm good at math, but I know uh, this helps. I know like that is oh, just hell yeah. Line I'm going to tell you right now. It's, he goes, "Have you seen the full send podcast? It's yeah, gone. It's yeah, gone yeah. from like that's his slide here to like here. I'm sure. Nah, that bitch went like this, bro. Stop playing. I went like fucking. Stop playing. Like like kind of like there. I got a complete vertical fucking. <laughs> shit shot like a fucking rocket like an Elon Musk right, whatever, dude. missile dude yeah, whatever bro it's all good. we love you man no, yeah, I, this I'm, is... I'm picky the hell <laughs> <laughs> oh my god go to the bathroom He's no I'm good I think it's your turn to go to the bathroom Straight not up. yet because I want to look at this clip and we got to go through this what's Let's the clip you got to... clips over there yeah you're most and they've seen everybody's seen it but we got oh fuck oh here it is you didn't put it up on there I, I it, it didn't send through to everybody's but... seen this clip <laughs> yeah you guys have seen this clip. Kyle, take it and show Brad. And we're going to pop it up when we close the podcast. Yeah, you got to start from the top. It's the fucking... That clip, people come at this, but that clip gives everybody chills when they watch it. Yes, yeah, that's from Lyrical Lemonade two years ago. So I want to know, when you walked out like that, could you feel that in the moment? No, bro. I, I've had so many shows like that. I, really? That one was just on camera. My shows are sick. You know how many times I see that clip? Probably every three days just when I'm scrolling. That's cool. I don't know. I, that's such a normal. That's normal to me. Probably the craziest crowd I've ever seen. No. Yeah. you never seen when DMX did that show at... um Oh. At, um... Damn, that festival was... uh What's the old festival? I think Woodstock. part of it... Oh, yeah. yeah. When DMX did Woodstock, he had the overalls on and shit like his performing to the world. That's a cool clip, though. Well, part of it was your walkout, too. Yeah, that jig. I yeah. do that a lot. That's had, had you ever got overwhelmed in situations like that prior to, like, knowing what it was once no, you've done no, it a few times? No, no. Performing is my thing. It's fun. You just, right away, you're like, I love this. Oh, I love it. I'm amped up. I love it. It's like a new, it's like a light switch on my characterisms. Damn. It's like you get into that mode. It's time to go. 
You need like, do you drink any caffeine? You get hyped. They're just natural. Nah, nah, bro. It's the energy. You feel the screaming. Like it's yeah. like you feel it. It's like excitement. Yeah. yeah. And you work. I mean, it's what all these nights are built up for. All the work that you've done. Yeah. 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 I love it. I love. I. That's it's fun. I like being an artist. What's your favorite part about all this? The love, and I, th- I also I love that as a person I've learned to separate, differentiate. A lot of rappers and artists they don't know how to like be them. Like they live in that twenty four seven. You know, like I've been over certain rappers' house to be like one in the morning they had like ten chains on and like sunglasses, and, and it's just us in the living room. It's like, bro, no one's here. So, <laughs> like, you, you mean living like the popularity of I mean, it? Just like two watches no, on like he's chains, and on it's for no just reason. us in the living room at one in the yeah. morning. It's like, bro, it's just us. Yeah. So you're saying like they can't just be themselves? It's just like personality. Like people need a lot of people need it. Yeah. They need it. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm the same person. Do you think that's because with- of the internet or? A competition? I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad, gladly don't have that problem. I think it's just ego booster. You know? Yeah. You feel like you can't be shut down until no. You know, when you have six chains on. Have um, you ever had any moments where like your ego took over? Or you I don't felt- have an ego, bro. Acid has killed my ego many times ago. Yeah. You never had it though. You had to have had it. What about in 2016 when so, you blew bro. up? I've always been a pretty good person, bro. I've always been pretty like. Well, not that you wouldn't be a good person, but well, no, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't be. I mean, I couldn't, but it's possible. And I've just always been very respectful and understandable of my blessing, right? Like, because I haven't always had money, you know? Even from the beginning. Oh, yeah, shit, for sure. I've always been like, I've uh, always, oh, who is always. It? Yeah. Oh, lit. <laughs> this could be something. Bitch, this is called my yeah, that's, right. that's on the you show. Should, you should answer right now. Yeah, answer it. Answer it. Answer it. Don't be a pussy, bro. We got to take her name out. We got to take her name out. Okay, bro. Answer it. Answer it. We got to take the name out. Sure. Put on speaker. Put on speaker. 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 What are you up to? Put on speaker. Bro, stop being a fucking pussy. Uh, Just at the Faina in the penthouse. Here you go. At the Faina? Yeah. Yo, mute it. Mute it. Dude, I am you gotta go really ultimate flex. With go do it, bro. Please, flex bro. Please. Keep, keep flexing. Keep flexing. Wait, you said what? The outdoor Stein. terrace with Stein. the faena with the faena sign. Yo, yeah. Stein, can I borrow your Ferrari? I yeah, yeah, hold on. Ha- Sorry, Lil Yachty's trying to borrow my Ferrari. Yo, can right I now. use the keys to the Ferrari real quick, bro? Bro, this is a. Uh, I swear to God. This is amazing. Uh, no, nah, I want. I want. Just say what I want. Oh, say what up. Who is this? Hello? Hi. Hi, who's. What's your name? <laughs> Oh, my name's Yadi. How are you? Okay, well, let's not I'm go too far. Now. Yo, he about to take your bitch. Okay, this is good. good. I, had a, I had a rough day today. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, fuck. Yo. It's like all rough day. It's yeah. Cold, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> it's fucked, right? Like, I don't know. I, I was... it's, it's the best place on earth, though. It's the positive and the negative. Yeah, I was working out earlier, like 300 reps or some shit. My back's hurting. You fuck. were working out? Yeah, fuck. My back's aching. Where? At the gold <laughs> gym. <laughs> All right, yo, they're they're pulling off the Rari, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yo, just classic. All right, I'm gonna call you back. Yo, we're doing the show right now. I gotta call you back. He's taking my Rari. I gotta stop. I didn't him. know no gym. It was the gold, gold, gold gym. gym. <laughs> oh shit. Whoa. Damn. Damn you. That went pretty good. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it did. She seemed happy. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Fuck. You're good. Dude. I need that, but whatever. Yeah. Fucking solid, dude. She has fake taste, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I can, I can hear it. Brad, you got anything else to get deep about? Well, or? he talked about fake taste. I was curious. You like girls that are natural? Or natural? I like all women. All women. <laughs> yeah. Shapes and sizes, no problem. Shape, tall, thick, big, small. Damn. Natural. Respect. Fake. I love it. You don't have a preference? I love freckles. Freckles? Oh, shit. So you like that fucking, that fucking filter, huh? You know what I mean uh, with that I like it in real life. The real ones. I love freckles, bro. My favorite. What's your biggest red flag with the chick? Um, just one who posts everything. Like I hate when I go on someone's Twitter and they're like, oh, at the store. Oh, this guy was so crazy. Oh, I'm leaving the club. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, just had steak. Oh, just, like, damn, bitch, live. That is actually no, yeah. you know how a bitch is psycho if she posts everything. But they she do does. There but are bro, women who do that. That's like the epitome of Miami, like dots. Oh, LA mm. too, though. No, I think just it's everywhere. I think it's it is everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, well, it's bad here. It I is. think it's everywhere. Yeah. I think LA women, they're more on the Instagram story. Why, why do you think they do that? Because that's the thing where attention. they got to- They need you to know what's going just, on. Attention. Especially but if is that to somewhere. piss off other dudes or to show up other chicks? It's all about attention, bro. It's a, yeah. It's Probably both. 
but I mean, yeah. what do you what do you think about social media? You think it's effect, affected like dating like drastically, like it's changed the game? Or? Oh yeah, it's fucked. But from, shit, you also get to see bitches from across the world at the well, fingertips. But so like, I feel like. By the way, when I say bitches, that's just how I say bitches. That's fair. Yeah, you're good on here. All right, cool. Yeah, Sick. no, you're good. Sick, but so, so <laughs> do you think it's changed the game though? Because like, that's your perspective, right? It's, I feel yeah, because like bro, all bitches know each other now. It's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a small world. Yeah. Every it's, city's it way smaller. It shows how small the world really is. Social. Yeah. 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 I mean, but bro, it doesn't stop anything, bro. We all die one day. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Crazy. And it's the truth. It's fair. Yeah. You got your nails are fucking terrible. I do. I, I chew my nails. Jesus it's a bad habit. Christ. I need your, I need your I need your person. <sighs> gets chair, my person comments are yeah. coming for him right now. I love I love Well, clean dude, nap, I would bro. say that we're also boys. It's just a joke. No, we're sorry, good. dude. Yeah. Yeah, we're Could we can we clarify that please? We're he definitely boys. This is definitely a joke. Damn you. Oh my God. There we go. Yeah, yeah, no. It's all love. I fuck with all <laughs> you Fuck you, Brad. <laughs> bitch ass. No. Wash your hands, dog. Bro. Wash your hands when you piss. I'm going to wash my hands wash right after Wash your hands this. in the guest house. Do you, you have socks on, Brad? Yeah, I got socks on. The low socks. Ankle socks. socks the Caucasian yeah. way. Uh, Sick. About time you went to your bathroom break. Yeah. He's going to wash his hands three times. <laughs> He's so serious about that. He's like, four times. I like him. Y'all big on him. He's funny, right? Yeah. I feel is. like he picks on himself sometimes. Probably. Right? Yeah. He probably does it to himself. He goes hard and he's like, wait, why are you making fun of me? It is what it is, though. No, he definitely uses full sin for bitches. <laughs> 100%. For sure. No. He's like, I'm the That's other amazing. guy. There. <laughs> it's funny because we actually talk about that. Yeah. Do you? Like just off camera everything, like how much has it actually helped him? And it's a lot. It's like, like I said, I wasn't oh, joking. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure. This show's shit. I'm sure it does. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, I mean, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't really do shit. <laughs> He's chilling. Record music and buy clothes. Are these li- all these crazy lyrics no, that I, I said Stiney before? Put lyrics, yeah. Those are all lyrics when I was a kid. My business leave another butter on that little bitch face. Okay. Day. And I love when she eat it. Yeah, I love when she taste ill. All in her face, pew. I'm like, ha, 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 all in your face. <laughs> There's no way <laughs> I said that. Explain that, explain that one. There's no way I you said that. You definitely said that. You definitely said that. Did I say yeah, that? That's fair. No, it was valid though at the time. <laughs> it's good. That's wicked. Yeah. Priorities, cause she get wet and she sucked me <laughs> like an insect. See my stepsister, Whoa. so I guess that that's insane. Maybe you started the stepsister oh, thing. Maybe that was you. Is that? No, that's a real thing. Yeah, it's weird. Why is that a thing? Why are people so into that? No, I really, that that happened. That, oh, this really happened? No. Yeah. She get with, she you hooked up with your stepsister? I mean, God sister. Whoa. What? Yeah. Oh, God sister. Oh, that doesn't sound even blood yeah. related. I said yeah, step, I said Wait, step, what's a God sister? So it's I, not I, like my party. mom's best friend's daughter type shit. Something like yeah, that. that's, that's a little more distant. Yeah. That's not, yeah, you're chilling. I, I think I said stepsister on accident. But it's a that's a popular thing on the internet. I don't know why, man. It's all Incest? Good. Yeah, that, no, the whole like step step family thing. Yeah, that's like a pop- porn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shouts out to porn. I'd rather say it. Like a star, I'd rather do it than say, and I done did it all before. I done had sex with six different whores at the same time on their grandmother's back porch. <laughs> Is that one true? What is wrong with me? Damn, that one's <laughs> fucking. That nah, one's kind of wild. I mean, not six on a back porch. Maybe I definitely two. fuck six bitches. Mm. Not at the same time. I think the most. I mean, I have had a, what in one day? Yeah, six in one day. Yeah, for sure. I mean, oh. I've had an orgy once. Really? Yeah, on tour. What's the most wow. in one day? I don't even remember how many bitches. It was probably like ten bitches in that room. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, same time. Know. Yeah, it was all going on. Ooh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was a week. I was a kid. I was like 19, 20. 10 in one day. That's ten in one ever room. come close to that? <laughs> That's numbers, bro. Uh, no, 10 in one room. Tim, I want to answer that question like so 10, bad. Like I... me and the bros, just all fucking bitches. Damn. Uh, Respect. Wicked. <laughs> yeah. Good days. I haven't done that shit in a long time, bro. I mean, I'm boring as fuck now. Now it's just music working. That's it. Yeah, 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 bro. I mean, bro, I'm 25 now, bro. I really just want one girl. Really? You think bro, 25 a was a girlfriend? You think 25 was the age where you realized that? I mean, bro, fucking, bro. The six years I've done music, 
I say being an entertainer is dog years, bro. So it's Straight six up, years, yeah. but it feels like fucking 30. Yeah, especially with women, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. I feel like, bro, I'm coming close to an end, bro. I got to pick one or I'm be alone forever. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but you got that's in it true, so early. Though. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. some real shit. I just want one person, bro. I want to start. It, may, may, it just sucks when like you're like, you have all these memories and then with different bitches. Yeah. And like, I'm like, yo, you remember when? Oh, it wasn't you. Damn. No, but when we went to Italy, oh, that wasn't you either. You know, you got all these memories with different bitches. I just want to start collecting with one person. What yeah. do you think stopped you from like not finding one? I just did. I had bad trust issues, bro. You know, That's like, real. I, I feel like we all have that, though. Yeah, it's a very we common I mean, thing. we're successful men. I mean, us three. Like, we're, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It's just so easy. I'm, I'm, I'm so no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These two got fucking jokes, though. What did you guys say when I went to take a piss? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're good, but obviously there was some they negotiation just, that went on when I went to the just, bathroom. Just, oh, it's so easy. to. They come so easy. I'm sorry. No, you're good, dude. You're fucking funny. I'm going to say some shit when I leave, bro. Oh, fuck. He's funny. Sorry. Respect, uh, respect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it seriously, though. Seriously, yeah. I want to no, talk about it. No, on a serious note, yeah. Because yeah. um, I, I got some heartache sometimes, man. Yeah. Straight I mean, up. It's hard, bro. I mean, I'm like, y'all know y'all. I wear a shit ton of jewelry and have shit laying around. Like, I just got bad trust issues, but you never yeah. know. And I'm from Atlanta, bro. Women have plans. They, you think they're going to take from you, or do you think they're going to cheat on you? Everything. Yeah. Have you gotten a chain swoop before, or a watch, or something? I've had jewelry taken from bitches all the time. Just, is it, is at that point is it just like a that shit's gone or do you try and get it back? No, <laughs> I don't value what, materialistic things. What, what about the? Well, pers- no, but it's like you probably want your chain back. No, fuck it. I mean, I have like, like I've definitely had watches taken and I had a bitch steal this diamond bracelet from once and I knew she stole it for sure. I understood because it, it was there when she did it before she came. It was gone when she left. Well, what about the perspective of like the like girls trying to like level up, like where they you know they fuck with you and then trying to just trying to get to the next one? Do you ever worry about that? No, I don't, well, I've never had that. Never I'm so private, that. bro. Like, yeah. I, I don't do public relationships, right? I see. So like, but I don't mind turning you got. If I like you, I'm gonna turn you up. You know, yeah. I'm gonna make sure you get money. I'm gonna put money in your bank account. You know, we're gonna take care of your bills. I'm gonna buy you nice stuff. That's that's the, that's what it is. I like nice stuff. I would never be with someone who didn't have nice things. I want you to have nice things. I got nice things. Of course. Me? Yeah, but I definitely want someone that I can like grow with and tell secrets to, and like help me with my business, and like that I just trust. You know, like I I envy that. Like, like really care about you because I feel like you build so yeah. much farther if you have that. Yeah, I mean it's just like a partner, bro. Yeah, I, I envy that, bro. It's like I envy people with that. Just relationship is sick. But every time it's ended, it's always just been because you can't trust them. Well, I just I I have really short attention span. Or you get bored a bit yeah. too. Mm-hmm. There has been are super boring. Yeah, there has been one that you're like maybe this one, maybe yeah. But at the time, I'm probably was so immature that I got just like fucking off. Yeah, but like really, to get up a majority of women, I'm not. I'm sorry, they are pretty boring. Hundred percent. Yeah. You know, they don't do much shit. I don't know. It's just true. It's yeah. true. Like a lot of the prettiest women are like, if not boring, just like kind of. You think that's hard? Old. It's hard to connect with them. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, maybe strange. you're hanging out the wrong like, ones. He's do you think they gay? need? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> do you think they need some sort of like purpose, some sort of passion, so that it's like not it necessarily because it... I don't mind helping someone find that because it's not easy to just know what you want to do in life. But at least attempt, right? Like I mean, a lot of women just like take pictures. <laughs> would Would you ever do like yeah. a? What if they did like a little yachty Flavor as a bachelor? Thing. Yeah. Would you ever do that? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I tried to do one for my mom though. I, went, I really want my mom to have love, so I went to, like. I would have loved to do one for her. Like, yeah. I really want her to it's find It's tough to out. see your parents third voice because mine are too if they have to be alone their, the rest of their life. I mean, it's my mom is so busy yeah. working for me, but I definitely want her to have someone. You know, I've yeah. never seen my mom with a man ever. My mom went her entire, my entire life. Like, and I'm sure she has dated, but she hid it from me. She just cared that much. She didn't want that image in our heads. Damn, like, see her. Like, I never saw, I've never seen her kiss a man. I've never seen her, seen her kiss my father. I just never seen her touch a man, hold a man. Like she just, she was really adamant on like I'm her mother. I mean, she's my mother, and she just wanted that image to always be a certain way, and it always was. You know, like I never, I could never think of my mother doing some inappropriate shit or just being a good mother. That's all I have of my image of her. She really cares about you, man. Uh, my mom's damn shit, bro. Seriously. That's amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She's a great, great woman. I think that's another reason why my standards are so high. My mother's a good woman. 
It makes sense. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, good, great woman. You know, so my standards are high. Like a lot of shit, I don't like. Man, nah, my mom wouldn't approve of this, and my mom wouldn't do this. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever brought a girl to your mom to meet her? I unfortunately bring way too many girls. <laughs> <laughs> does she ever give you the, like, you no, know, I don't fuck with this one? Now my mother does not even pay any attention. It's fucked. I think I ruined it. Like, she yeah. does not pay any of them any attention. Because she probably doesn't take it seriously. Well, because my mom is just so awesome. I always bring women to my mom. Like, mom, look. And it's just like, hey. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't care. Because I can't hold a relationship. Not because yeah. of me, though. I mean, because of me, but not because, like, of something I did. Just because, like, I'm like, oh, this actually isn't as fun as it was. It's like he said, this is the attention span. Yeah. What, what would it take? What do you think it would take for you to be think, like, this, I don't know. this one, yeah. like, would last? Because like, it's a girl who has a passion. I, I don't really well, don't do you think, know. Dude? If I knew, I, I'd... Bro, that's, what, that's, I mean, the, that's I the Dude, you question. sound like you have all the like, answers over there. I know, I got them all. <laughs> well, hold on a second, I motherfucker. We, shot, we're, hold on, like, we're interviewing fucking Lil Yachty right here. Shut the fuck up, well, bitch. I, I'm asking him his perspective, but I'll give you mine if you're okay, asking. You're doing I'm 33, so listen. Okay. I think it has to do with, like, having a woman that has her own, that's something that she really cares about, right? Because if you meet her, and then she's adding value to you because... When two people can come together and they actually genuinely care about the things, like, like independently you care about music and fashion and she, you're pushing yourself there. She cares about whatever and whatever or one thing, but you guys can come together and be like, you could share kind of like ideas about mm. the two things and drive each other forward. Yep. Then you find someone like that and you'd be like, if you obviously sexually and all the other, you know, you cross all the other boxes, right. then it can make sense. But I think it's, it's a matter, like you said, you find these girls, probably beautiful girls who... There's not much going on here because mm -hmm. they don't really know what they really want to do, and maybe think about you just taking care of them the rest of their well, life. Well, I'm thinking just because it's so what's so popular now is social media. Yeah, it's like yeah. every girl just wants to take pictures and make money mm -hmm. and do and do whatever OnlyFans, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just like what real purpose and passion does a woman have that is also like motivating, and inspiring to you? To that, she doesn't need to make you money, but like to make you kind of push yourself forward. That's real. I yeah. never, you know, that was I've never heard that before. But that's a hundred. I, I agree with you a hundred percent. Yeah. So I think if you found someone like that, you'd be like, damn, that's it. But you, just, that's very hard to find because it's much easier to be the girl who just looks sexy on camera. Yeah. It's much harder to have, be a girl that has passion, that cares about some shit that she's really she wants to do. With and they're herself. probably not working towards that shit no more because it is just so easy for them to make exactly bread, easy. like crazy dumb money bread. on each other. Yeah. Easy. So that's why the whole dynamics have shifted. I think girls like they just think it's just easy. I can just just it's almost like feels like somewhat of a cop out. Not that it's a terrible thing. I mean, do what you want to do to make money, but at the same time, like if you're not developing other things that you really care about that are just outside of like the fact that I look beautiful, mm -hmm. then you find yourself in a position where where's the real like energy and value behind that? So that's real. Go fuck yourself, Steiny. <laughs> I had nothing to say there. Yeah, no, you exactly. just crushed that. It's okay. That was real. Go interviewing him. Remember that. Don't forget it. I'm huh. very aware. Don't what is his you. opinion? You're looking for a main chick too, right, Stunny? Ooh. Uh, uh, focused on my career right now. Dope. Chase a check. You know the rest. No, I want a main I want I want the one, man. I want a self. I want to have a kid, dude. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, family's everything, bro. I want a kid. Yeah, well, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. You got, That's all I have. No, got, I don't have kids, but I have my brother, my sister, my parents. Are you close? Yeah, very. I wish I was um, close with my brother. We're not close. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, th I think that's, you have to do that young. It's hard to oh, develop a relationship later. Yeah. I've learned that, unfortunately. Yeah, but you definitely have to do it young. Have to. Why do you think you're not close with him? Because he's a dick. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Fucking bitch. Pussy. Loser. Just based on like. He's a loser. He's a bum. He has just, nothing going for himself. He never will. Ooh. Dude, that's Fuck. so. Yeah, that. Tell no. him I said it. Oh. There's nothing. It, do you, do, have you ever experienced like someone coming to you back in your life when like before you had the stuff then they come back and they're like oh they, they want to get to know you that's then that's what this is okay so bummy. that makes sense why you feel that way then he's a bum he's a playful of crumbs he's nothing well on the flip side how many people did you have that really believed in you and supported you that are you nah, not many but how many most, for sure he just was not in my life at all yeah until I got famous oh that's fucking whack yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah, why yeah, is he yeah. older than you yeah six years six years old that's why yeah, he's a bozo. Doing nothing. Probably homeless right now. I don't know what he's doing. Damn. Yeah. But that's, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not your job to take care of someone who's like, especially if they come into yeah, a fuck weird that position guy. like that. Fuck that guy. I respect yeah. it. And the crazy thing is I still tried to help him. He's a dick. I'm doing better. So, I mean, who cares? It is what it is. You're yeah. Good, yeah. Fuck yeah. it. Right. Anyways. Fuck it. You had a good relationship with your mom, so you're good. Yeah, and my little sister. My sister is great, too. 
Um, she's just in that. She's a part of that group. She's six. He's six years older. She's six years younger. So she's a part of that group like that. Like, bro, the teenagers now in the internet are like, ugh. So it's like, I'm yeah. just trying to, she's in there. Like, she's in it. You know, so I'm just like trying to, and she's not like me, right? Like, she's not into what I'm into. She doesn't care about, like, fashion like me. Or Honestly, I don't really know what she's into, but, like, I know she doesn't give a fuck about music and shit. So, like, but I'm still, like, I, that's my sister. I care so much. I'm still trying to figure out how to connect with her. Yeah, it's just, just conversation. Yeah, 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 that's all. You know, just trying to figure it out. Have more about it, more communication. I think so, and I can't say I dropped the ball on that. So I do definitely want to start spending more time with her. Yeah, I mean, she lives next door to me, <laughs> but yeah. What what's like the craziest thing that goes on at your crib? Nothing now. No, no not anymore. I used to just be like. Just it was like a kickback every day, and it was pretty sick until like I just started. Come, you started. It'd be nice to come home tired, and it's just people you do not know in your house. Just like who are you? You didn't kick them out? Nah, because they have probably there for somebody else. Now <laughs> I mean, now it's just me. So now it's chill. Nothing happens now. I'm rarely ever home. Yeah, you know, uh, my mom's next door. I get to kick with my mom. She's sick. My mom's great. I don't really do much now. What are, you, what are you mainly focused on right now? Um, just getting my career to where I want it to be. Yeah. Where is that? Just like on fire. Got you. So uh, what, and I have the music. I just got to put it out. What's next? Like a, you drop a single or an album? No, nah, man. I'm, I'm working right now. And, um, God, I don't, don't want to say it. I just don't you can drop it on this. I just don't no want jinx it. I'm, I'm just working. I'm working. So something's coming out soon, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working out some shit. Um, maybe, maybe something soon. Fuck yeah! How do you know when the right time to drop something is for you? Um, uh, I don't know. You just know. I got a momentum right now. You know, yeah. problems going crazy. So like, why not? Why not take advantage of it? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I got a whole new sound, a whole new wave. I'm excited to just. Drop on their fucking heads. Oh, Let's yeah. go. Fuck them with it's it. Dope. Fuck we yeah. appreciate you, man. Yeah. For real. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys, man. Fire In the episode. meantime, until you that comes out, go cop the, me, the pizza at all the Walmarts. Every Walmart in America, yes, please. Yachty's Pizzeria. Let's go. Uh, we got to try that shit. Yeah. You guys got to. It's sick. Yeah. If y'all give me address, I'll send you a shit. Yeah, please. Time. Poland is everywhere. Stream it. Um, um, swipe for me on Tinder. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, you're so, funny, um, bro. Let's let's get yeah, it. Yeah, you jokes. know, I, I I love everybody who loves me. So that's all. All right, thank let's you, bro. Go. Go. Appreciate Yachty. it. Thank you so much, Lori. Thank let's go. you, guys. Fucking dope. You crushed that shit. Yeah, yeah you were natural, bro. Yeah. Cool. Sick, man. Hell yeah, that was awesome. That was great.